All right, guys, so welcome. So if you're new here and this is a new channel that I'm just launching, this video series that I'm starting with this video is all about inside out scheduling. So I'll tell you all about what that is in a second. But basically, this is for you if you are struggling with burnout, overwhelm, if you feel like you don't have enough energy to get through your workday, if you feel like you would like to get be more productive than you are, perhaps you've got more dreams that you want to launch a business or you want to be able to have extra energy at the end of the week to volunteer or spend more quality time with your friends and family, or maybe you have this uh, creative project that you've really been wanting to get to and you just don't have the time or energy to do it. Well, I've discovered a way to make that all work without feeling burnt out. Sure, there may be days where sometimes you're lower energy, but the inside out scheduling approach that I have developed over the years is something I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys today because I've seen it as the cure to all of those problems and frustrations. So if you're interested in maybe even 10 times in your productivity, then stay tuned and keep up with the series. And I'm going to be walking through each step in the subsequent videos after this one. But today, I want to just talk to you about the whole concept of inside out scheduling in general. And then we will move into the actual steps. There's four steps in the guide that I've put together and actual five steps that I've developed that I'll be sharing with you one video per step and we can walk through that together. So almost like a bit of a workshop uh, if you guys want to break it down and work on it together. We can do that. So click subscribe if you want to stay in touch with this channel and see when the next video series comes up and then you can move along with us. So let's get started. All right, so let's dive in to the key steps of the inside out scheduling approach and then future videos will go into each one more in depth. So the first step is basically taking the time to align. So you're going to do what I mentioned before is set up a morning routine where you can align to your highest self first and prioritize that before you do anything else in your day. Another thing is taking time to align with your values and your vision and your goals. And that itself can be a big project on its own. Um, but when you know where you're wanting to go and what you're looking to achieve, then you can set up your schedule and your time and your energy in a way that will allow you to do that. So whether that means you take time to do that project that you've been wanting to do or volunteering like I mentioned or setting up your business whatever it is the thing that you're wanting to do next in your life maybe it's just not being tired at the end of the workday so you can spend more quality time with your family or friends whatever it is getting clear and aligning with that is massively powerful you set up your schedule so you have your self-care in the morning you look at what your priorities are and look at what your values and your goals are so you can make sure you're heading in the right direction that's step one. Another piece is looking at the why behind what you want to do, why you want to do it. And when you have that clear, then the rest happens much more easily. When you're tapped into the passion behind what you want to do, like for me, for example, my passion behind doing this YouTube channel is to help bring the ideas and concepts that I've learned that have really improved my life and those of the people that I've shared it with already want to share it with more people like yourself. So that's why I'm wanting to do this. Why do I want to take time away from other things in my life to record a video is to be able to hopefully share this with you guys and uplift you just as it's already helped my life and those that I've worked with before. So what is your why? Knowing what that is can really make then the tedium of doing the thing uh, way more fun and more exciting and more fun and easy to do. So aligning is the first step. The second step is basically looking at what your energy in activities are and what your energy out activities are. So let me explain that a little bit. And like I said, I'll go in more detail into the specific video when we get there. So. If you've ever heard of the yin yang concept, um, that's basically kind of an energy in or energy out. Sometimes it's called masculine and feminine, but I like talking about it energy in and energy out better. So the idea with 
the step here that I want you to understand is really just looking at what energizes you and what fills you up with energy, whether that's sleeping or having a nap, going for a walk or exercising, a lot of people find meditation, quality time with family and friends, maybe it's quiet time on your own, maybe it's watching a funny video or going on an awesome hike, whatever it is, something energizes you. And then the other idea, I, half of it is looking at what de-energizes you or drains you. So maybe that might be negative people, it might be uh, something tedious, like for me it's been in the past dealing with traffic, or maybe something like you have to deal with some frustrating processes in your work, or you've got some difficult meetings that you have to go to that aren't of value to you, or whatever it is going to be that drains your energy. The idea with step two is to look at the difference. So what energizes you, what drains you, and then how can we enhance the energizing part and decrease the draining part? Or if you can't decrease the things that drain you, how do we mitigate it? So for example, one thing that I found for me is I love teaching. I love public speaking. It is my number one passion in life. Other than, of course, amazing relationships with people that I love. But um, my number one passion in life, which is also why, of course, I want to do this channel, <laughs> so uh, is to share with the world and teach and, and uh, speak and all of that kind of thing because I love helping people learn and grow. And it's just my calling, I guess. Um, but I found that when I do public speaking, especially if it's a big audience or for a prolonged period of time, I can find it draining as well because of all that energy out. It's not bad energy. It's just it's just energy out. So I find that it inspires me and energizes me and I love it. But yet at the same time, because of the output, I need to balance it out by giving myself a few days of low key time after a big presentation or teaching uh, so that I can recharge. So that's step two, the idea of in and out energy and how you work with it. We'll talk about some activities you can do later about how you can figure out all of these things and, and look at your schedule that way. So the third step in this whole process is all about looking at the activities that energize you and adding them into your schedule. So we already talked about the morning routine and I'm a big fan of meditation. I've been a meditation teacher for years. I actually have meditation info on my website that I'll share with you guys later. We'll do a whole series on meditation and mindfulness because I think it's key to this whole piece as well. So if you're not a meditator already, I encourage you to open your mind to that and look at maybe trying it out sometime. Um, but what else energizes you? So maybe it's taking a bath in the evenings at the end of the day before you go to bed. And so whatever it's going to be, the idea in step three is to take those things, identify what helps you get to your awesome thriving level of energy self, if you've never felt it, maybe think about how you felt after a nice summer vacation or a holiday, or if you've had time off from work for a few days and, and you feel that fullness of energy where you're creative, where you're inspired. That's what we're looking at creating every single day or as much as possible. So that you set up your schedule so that is there regularly and then you do what you have to do in the remaining amount of time. I know this seems backwards. You have so much to do, a massive to-do list. I get it. But trust me, I've tried this again and again, and I've seen the difference when I do it and when I don't. I've seen it massively change the lives of my clients and my friends that I've shared this with. So trust me and give it a try. <laughs>